Hello and welcome, one and all. I am Old School Gamer 1971. A special shout out to Millie and Lloyd. Hope you're all having a great day and are staying safe. Today's subject matter is Grey Skies, a War of the Worlds story. Before we begin, if you enjoy the video, give it a big thumbs up, like, and if it pleases you, check out my channel and subscribe. So without further ado. Grey Skies A War of the World Story is a stealth adventure game developed by Steel Art Software that released for the PlayStation 4 in 2020. Grey Skies is an updated story based on the novel The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Again, this game is based in England. This does make this game look familiar. Look at some pictures of Castleton. It is almost uncanny. This is an indie title, more on this later. Steel Art Software are an English developer established in 2015. Their first game was Welcome to Hanwell in 2019. This is their second release. Amazingly, I had not heard of this game until two weeks ago. Somehow this had flew under my radar. I've played Welcome to Hanwell previously, so I am hopeful of this being a good game. You play as Harper, who after surviving a plane crash, must make her way through rural England and survive the Martian invasion. The game brings much of the book to life. Black smoke, red weed and of course, those fighting machines with their heat ray. Spoilers, the heat ray is amazing. Thankfully, they have taken inspiration from the original book and not the Tom Cruise abomination. I don't mind you bringing it up to date, just do it tastefully and have no irritating screaming kids. I've been waiting a long time to see a decent War of the Worlds game. Fingers crossed that this is it. So is this Grey Skies, a War of the Worlds story? Or is it Grey Slides, a bore of the playground? The combat comes in two forms really. The first is throwing things for distraction. The second is being chased by the fighting machines, with the heat ray chasing you up the road. This gets the blood pumping and certainly if you were to ask me what I would want in the game, it would have been this sequence. Now the user interface works quite well. The game does have crafting. This is easy to use and you can see what ingredients are needed for your next project. I do enjoy scavenging parts, all the while being wary of your surroundings. Now this is a bit of a downer. Whilst it does tell you your next objective, it does not always explain what you need on the way, so be prepared to experiment to get further into the game. This is not a game for backseat driving, you know it's a bit boring somebody just watching you run around and pick up red weed. This game is not amazingly detailed, I will say that I do like the graphical stylings. The world is quite breathtaking in places, the beginning bit with the fire is a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it looks fantastic, and others, not so much. But once you start walking around the streets, it really turns your head. You would never mistake this for a AAA title, but I am happy with that. Sometimes you want all that polish, and others, you just want the grit. That is what this game is. Not perfect, but more than good enough. I would have liked the maps to have a little more to explore, but maybe next time, eh? For me, there was one moment that made me chuckle, was when she put money on the counter, and it was an English tenor. It's the little things that they get right that you remember. Now on to the music. If you ask me what music would I have liked, my answer would have been, get Jeff Wayne's War of the World. If I can't have that, then the music here. It's a somber affair, at the beginning anyway. It then builds up as the atmosphere ramps up. When enemies are near, when a fighting machine rears its ugly head. Speaking of fighting machines, the heat ray sounds bang on. You need it to sound every bit as terrifying as it should look. Here it does that and then some. All in all, the sound sets the mood, as it should in a game like this. 
Aesthetically, this game is everything I'd hoped it to be, and the further I got into the game, the better the game became. Like the beautiful game, this is a game of two halves. When first of all the game starts, you have the farm, and at this point there is no explanation, no map, and nothing really going on. Fortunately I persevered, and by the time I got to Castleton, I had everything down. The red weed allows you to upgrade the throwables and character. I do wish that they made this a little clearer when the game started. Maybe I am wrong and it was there and I just was not looking at the game in the right way. But Castleton and beyond, the game just kept getting better and better. The game has atmosphere and charm, a combination we do not see too often. So grey skies a war of the world story this most certainly is and earns itself a solid 8 out of 10. I'm off to give the Martians nipple twisters and see how they like them apples. And it's done. If you found this video interesting or have any suggestions, please comment down below as it will put a big old smile on this old face. Let's get the conversation started, I will answer you all. I post new content every week. Have a great day one and all and thank you for your support. This has been Old School Gamer 1971 signing off.